What's up, everybody? How y'all doing out there? Mom Vernon Kid here again. Hope everybody's well on their end. Feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. One reason is particular because I like to give a shout out to a friend of the comic book nation, CMV Nation. And I like to give a shout out to him and just say, Welcome back, friend. You've been missed, especially by me in particular. And his name goes by H to the E double X. <laughs> so uh, get that out the way. Welcome back, bro. I missed you. Welcome back. Um, so let's start this off. Got your questions. Some are new, some are old. From my list of questions, just like to say thank you again to all the people out there that just leave me personal messages. Want to get my quick answers on certain subjects instead of me doing this a big segment in the opinion spot. All right. So I'm gonna start off. Many of them are comic book questions. Some are not. So I'm gonna start off with um, question from a friend, OJ Eagles fan. Okay, and he says, uh, "What do you think of Tim so far in Red Robin?" All right, all uh, right, man, bro. I think Tim is becoming one hell of a, de a detective just like his adopted father was you know what that's plain and simple right there I think Tim is literally literally becoming a far better detective he's surpassing Bruce in some way and I know somebody will probably say get out of here man get out of here no nah, he, he is doing a hell of a job you know far from me to say that but Tim is just doing his thing um got a question from the shadow the shadow uh, Glad to see you came back with another question. Um, he asks me, "What some of your, what are two of your favorite, favorite uh, Spidey story arcs?" Wow. Okay. Um, one has to be Maximum Carnage. I love that series. I love that 13-part series. Um, I've always said Marvel needs to do a feature length of this. You know, I've always said that. I've, I made it clear and simple they should do a, a Maximum Carnage feature length. You did, you're did. doing Planet Hulk. They should do uh, They should do Maximum Carnage. I love this series. Um, very much. Um, another one I thought was very interesting, very entertaining, was uh, Spider-Man. Um, not the Clone Saga. I, I like the Clone Saga, but I definitely got to put um, Identity Crisis in there. Um, this story arc... Uh, was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was basically Spidey. He had a price on his head, so he couldn't go around as Spider-Man so more anymore. So what he did was he asked various superhero friends, like Kobe Brown, aka the Prowler, to make a costume where he can go around as Dusk, uh, pr uh, Prodigy, uh, Hornet, and um, Ricochet, and and he went around in these different costumes and fought crime. I thought it was great. I thought it was cool. And then hence we saw characters come out of that. You know, the slingers came out of Spidey's different uh identities. You know, there was a prodigy, there was a, a dust, there was a, a hornet, and there was a, a a ricochet. You know, the slingers, you know. So I really those are two story arcs from Spidey that I really enjoyed. Um feel free to give your opinion on that. Um, got another question from uh, my friend, uh, my, excuse me, my cousin, the Nightwing92, and he says, Yo, cuz, I know you like the classic cartoon. You're big in the classics. You collect them. You're not really feeling a lot of cartoons that come out today. But tell the people what cartoons you do watch today. All right, well, well, cuz, um, no problem. Um, one has to be I do watch the Marvel stuff. I will watch that. You know, Wolverine and X Men, Spectacular Spider Man, um uh, you know, even the the Marvel Super uh the Superhero Squad, I think it is so cute and funny. No question about that. I will watch that with my cousins and my younger cousins. Um and of course Ben Ten, Alien Force, I will watch. And those are particular, you know, the the return of the, you know, the Star Wars stuff I will watch. But I stick to the classics, no doubt about it, cuz. Um, got a question. Uh, well, it's not really a question, it was a comment 
that I really wanted to touch on from a guy who wrote on one of my tributes, J8 Lacey, and um, he wrote a comment about the Black Lightning, and he says, why they call him Black Lightning? I know he's he's black and he has lightning powers, but I think it's really a stereotypical racist, you know, many of his enemies are have black in their name like an enemy he got named black mask that can grow really big and everything like that um like i said to him bro this he came out in the 70s you know um and 70s was a big era for black exportation uh films and stuff like that you know shaft and uh, foxy brown and everything like that dodamite and all that it was part of the times bro um, and I'm not really going to get into yeah it's racist everything like that it was part of the times that's all I can say I uh, got a question from my friend Deadpool Zilla he says what is one fight you want to see actually happen between characters in the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe alright first and foremost the DC Universe um, Zilla I, I, I searched hard long and wide for this I couldn't come up with anything. I'm sorry, bro. Um, but as for the the Marvel universe, a fight has already happened, which I wanted to see: the X-Men versus the Dark Avengers. We got to see that, you know. So definitely, definitely was great to see that. Um, another um, fight I want to see is your 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 name tag, Deadpool versus. Bullseye, aka Hawkeye, you know, and I think we saw a little bit of that as well. So definitely those two. So does those, those are definitely that, bro. Um, he also says he also put in requests for some some versus videos that you know I do my fantasy videos thanks to uh, uh, Freak and and uh, Doctor Doomfate. Um, he says which of the request fights. Will I do first? He has he did he asked for two Sentry versus Red Hulk or Rock or or and and he also had Wolverine versus Inuyasha. I think um I touched a little bit on Sentry for a while. I'll give I'll give uh I'll give him Mr. Reynolds uh, a, a break for a while, and I'll go with Wolverine versus Inuyasha. So I'll do that first for you. All right, bro. And another question, and then I got some questions from Blue Goblin, which he says he's the only Goblin, <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> I love that. Um, hence, you got uh, Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, Demo Goblin, and there's Blue Goblin. I, I think that's cool. <laughs> I think he's the he's the only true Goblin. I love it. Um, he says, "What is the oldest comic book I have in my collection?" And he says his is Teen Titans number three which came out in 1966 well goblin it's the one and only spidey amazing fantasies number fifteen his first appearance not in mere mint condition but it is in condition where the pages aren't yellow um... i've got it in nineteen ninety six um... at a comic book convention in new york city in st paul's church on ninety sixth street um, paid a lot of money for that but I, I did get it um thank you to my dad he knew I wanted it he got it for me I should say both parents they got it for me so amazing fantasies number 15 spider-man first appearance 1962 um he also says there's talk about an x-men first class movie what are my thoughts on that? Well, first and foremost, if they do it right with the original five members, Cyclops, Gene, Bobby, Hank, and Warren, great. But if they screw it up, I, I don't know. I, I But if they do it right, great. If they do it like they did, they do in the comic first class, great. But if they screw it up, I'm, I'm going to be pissed. Okay? I'm hearing talks of it's going to be like... Uh, uh, all this, the the, uh, the the person that does uh, One Tree Hill, who does that, is gonna be writing it. No, 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 no. Screw that. And he also says, um, 
which guest host would I like to see on Monday Night Raw? Well, first and foremost, I think a lot of I'd like to see more um, uh, professional athletes because the the rating for Ben Big Ben's when he was on there was off the chart, 3.5 if I remember correctly. Um, and I'm getting out, and I would like to see more professional athletes and more hip hop artists. And I'm getting to see we're getting to see Snoop Dogg. So my prayers are getting answered about that. All right. <laughs> So other than that, guys, um, like I said, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying, stay tuned, keep it real, one love, keep them questions coming, and it's good to have you back, Hex. Good to have you back. <laughs>